Are you thinking about turning a new leaf? Okay, not, not funny, not funny. But this is the 2023 Nissan Leaf that is new and it looks good. We have it in a stealth grey colour with the roof being super black. I like the look so far. There's a new Nissan logo at the front that lights up. But what I think uh, stands out with this new look is the rims here. These are 17 inch like five spoke rims. If you have a v, like an EV and you look at that rim, it's like whoa. Check me out, that's what I think it's saying, right? The bumper at the front is also different, so the grille here is a bit different as well compared to the previous generation. Okay, I've got my key here with me, show you guys the charging area, port, whatever you want to call it. It's here at the front. You guys want to come a little closer. So it's got two options. This one is the AC, uh, it gives you about 6.6 kilowatt of input and here is the Japanese one they call it the CHAdeMO DC charger um, and it's the input is about I think 50 kilowatt of like, electricity so two options there for you okay part of the Nissan intelligent mobility feature is this here it's the intelligent rear view mirror it seems like a normal mirror right for you to you know check your face or parking or whatever but you flip this right here and you get what seems like a little TV screen. It shows you with a camera what's at the back of your car. So you get a more detailed look. It's more safe. So for me, it's like, you know, if there's like a dog or a cat crossing, you'd catch it first. And then just flick it back, back to your own mirror. This is a new 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system here. Of course, you can play your um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth. It's got even voice recognition. It's got the two toggles here at the side. I like that, but it's touchscreen lah. Uh, and quite responsive, I think. Oh, it's got a clicky sound. I like that. Uh, but one thing to note though, this is my first electric vehicle that I'm driving. So we're in D and we're going. And I've been promised an electric vehicle, supposedly it's very quiet. And it is very quiet, so I can hear my thoughts. I can hear my thoughts in an electric vehicle, it's so quiet. And as expected in an EV, it's smooth. So yes, the Nissan Leaf delivers. And if you've owned, I guess, any electric vehicle or even the previous generation Nissan uh, Leaf, it's got the same features. Um, it's got the Eco Mode. It's even got the B, B Mode. When you lift your feet off the gas pedal, it slowly breaks. So that works for you in a you know, traffic jam situation or whatever. And on top of that, you want to go one step further, you can turn on the e-pedal. It stops the car when you lift your feet off the gas. So I'm driving, 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 driving. And then let's say we hit a junction and I malas want to press brake. I lift my feet off and it's stopping. So your leg don't have to like switch between left and right, left and right, left and right. And I think it felt quite smooth. They've included the uh, lane departure warnings. So we sway off of your lane. Sometimes you like mengantuk ke, you know, or like you're not concentrating, you're not focused on your drive, you might like sway, right? The, there should be some haptic feedback, meaning like a little vibration on the steering wheel that like kind of wakes you up and say, Hello, drive carefully sis! Also what's included in the new Leaf is the high beam assist. Meaning when you're on high beam but if it detects a car coming your way, it'll kind of like not so high beam it so that it won't blind the oncoming vehicle. So if you're interested to know, the power that this car gives is about 150 horsepower, 320 newton meters of torque. But this car is meant for city driving. Lah. It's not meant for you know long distance driving. Like, like you don't expect to travel from Johor to uh, Perlis lah with this car. Alright, this Nissan is priced at 168-888 ringgit and I think it's a good price for an entry-level electric vehicle. So if you're thinking about, okay, I want to get into the whole EV game and you know, your pocket's not that deep, it's not bad. But there's also another option of a subscription plan of about 1,800 ringgit a month. So you don't own the car but you just kind of like rent it from them on a subscription basis. So go find out more if you're interested in that. But all in all, this gives you about reported 300 kilometers of drive but I think real world, it should give you about 250 or more. So okay, it's perfect for city driving and I think it's a cute looking car.